Okay, so this is uh, the lecture for Monday, uh, November 21st. And what we're going to be doing today is discussing how to use the Arena Output Analyzer. So this is going to be a quick lecture. This is very interesting if you want to perform some of the analysis we discussed in class already. If you're able to use the, the output analyzer, you'll be able to, those, to do those analyses pretty quickly. And so let get, let's get started. And what I want to do is just guide, through, guide you through uh, an example. And this is something we discussed in class. Suppose we want to compare two models in ARENA, two different models that have to different configurations of the same system. And we want to make confidence intervals on the expected output from each scenario. So one of the ways that I, I discussed in class that we can compare two different systems is by looking at the confidence intervals. And in this case, what I, again, I'm going to use a, a simple system for a discussion and basically what we are going to be looking at is a simple a, a server where entities arrive and after they, they are served they depart the system. So the base case is the case in which we have only one resource so the first case is only one resource. And the second case, we have three resources. We're going to compare those two systems in, by looking at the confidence interval. So one way to do this is by running these two different configurations in ARENA, look at, looking at the confidence intervals and if we are interested on a specific uh, performer measure, in this case, I decided to use the cycle time. If we look at the confidence interval for this performer measure, and we see no overlapping between those intervals, we know that there are sufficient statistical difference between those uh, two systems, which is the case here. For one case, this is the value for the performer measure. For three resources, this is the value for the performer measure. As, as we can expect, the, the cycle time for the system that has three resources will be less. And we can say that the system with three resources will provide a, a better cycle time for the entities, or lower cycle time for the entities. And But this doesn't allow for a precise efficient statistical conclusion. This one way to do it, but mm, this is not precise. So the, the other thing we can do is to compare these means for this performer measure via the output analyzer. And the output analyzer is a separate application that operates on dot .dat files produced by ARENA, and this is launch, launched separately from Windows, not from ARENA. And one way to, to use this uh, output analyzer is by running your simulations in ARENA, and then save the output values of the entries in the statistic uh, data mod module under the type equals output. And there, you, in the column that uh, provides for output file, you will write the file name of your output and with an extension .dat, like this. Only thing that you need to remember is every time you run your model, these, dat, these data files will be, uh, with the, the ARENA software will override these data file. So if you want to keep all of them, you need to change the name every time you run your model. And these dat files, dot dat files are binary, so they 
can only be read by the output analyzer. Okay? So if you try to open these files uh, without using the output analyzer, you're gonna, not going to be able to see anything. So let me show you how to get these output files using OENA. So we open ARENA. This is the model I just described, which we have only one resource and a single queue. Entities arrive. We are assigning an attribute for the T now. And in this record, we are collecting the cycle times. So if you go to advanced process, inside statistics, oops, check something. There should be some statistics defined already. They are not defined, so let me define them. The first statistic, or the only statistic that we're going to consider is Atali, which is the cycle time. And we need to create an output for this statistic that will consider the average of all the replications. So this is going to be a TAVG cycle time. Okay. And the output is cycle time. Cycle time. Oh. And this output file uh, column is where we uh, specify the location in where we want to save these outputs. So let me create a new one. Put sample. So I want to have this I'll put files there, and the name will be one resource dot dat. Okay. So let me see if I need to do something else. So I, let me check this. This is defined already. If the model replications are not set yet, so the replication length I want to use is 10 hours. Set up 10 hours. And the number of replications will be 10 as well. Okay, computer. And 10. Okay. Bye. Project parameters. Let me take this out. And reports. Simon. Okay, so let me check my model to see if I have any errors. There's no errors. If you run this, you'll see that. Actually, let's run this for 100 hours. And turn off the animation. So as you can see, this is the output for our model. And this is the output we generate using the arena. But if we go back to if we go back to this output 
sample folder. So that Check back on this inside statistic. We are generating this. Okay. So it didn't go to the file. It's supposed to go. Okay. So let me see if I run it now. There you go. There's the file we generate for our output. This is for this particular experiment. Now if we want to do the same thing for the for the second one, just go open the second model, which you can see well what I can do is just doing from here. If I go to resource basic process resource and if I increment the number of resources to three then I'm gonna have the second model and I want to save this with a different number this is three resources If I run this now, I will get a different output. We have less resource, we have more resources, the cycle time went down. Now if I go back to the presentation, I have those files already generated. What I want to do now is to use the output analyzer to to analyze the and compare these means or the means for our performance measure for those models, two models. So here are the instructions to do that. Basically what you do is just you go open and you add those two files to your output analyzer software and then you look for the analyze menu and choose the compare means uh, option. So let's do that. Here, Rockwell Software, Arena, Output Analyzer. You click New. They will ask you which uh, data group files you want to use. Click Add. Go to the folder where you save those two files. Output example. Here's the first one, but the second one is not there. So I guess same thing happened. So let me just look for it here. It's not there. I don't know where that file went. So let me run this model one more time so I can get that file. Okay, so I forgot to put the extension. And that's why it's not saving. If I run this one more time, it should be there. There you go. There's two files with the same extension. Those are the files we're going to use. So go back to that folder. Add those two files. Okay. And then go to analyze, compare means of these two files. Replications, you, you want to use a uh, lump. Second model, same thing, use lump. Click OK. 
you want to perform uh, any of these two tests. So let's go to the pair T test. Click OK. And this is the confidence interval for the combined the combined confidence interval we talk about in the class. And as you can see, zero is not included in this confidence interval, which uh, for for this case we can conclude that the the the, the means are significantly different with the uh, probability of 0.95. Okay. So when this uh, the output analyzer is saying that you reject H0, which means that these two means are different. So we can make conclusions. We can we can make conclusions based on these uh, results. So we can say, okay, this system is better than the other one. So the system that provides the lowest uh, cycle time is the best one. In this case, is the system with three resources. Okay. So um, the analyzer are also provides you with a way to compare variance, um, the analysis of variance as well. You can you can do batch uh, analysis, which we talk about as well. You can do a, a moving average. So there, there, are def, there are different things that you can use. Use you can uh, you can do using this analyzer. For the purpose of this course, I just want you to. To learn how to use uh, the analyzer to compare two different systems. And if we go back to the presentation, this is what I just discussed. Now, the other thing that I wanted you to know is that if you have if you have an output from a different simulation software that is not Arena, for example, something if you code uh, a simulation by yourself and you have your data, your output data, you can use this uh, output analyzer to analyze your data as well. And what you will do is just load those uh, output files in a different way. And here I'm showing you how to do that. You basically go to the main menu, the file, look for data file, and load an as uh, a s c i a c i i file. And what you will do is you will load that uh, text file, and you will need to convert that file into uh, a file that the output analyzer will will read. And the analyzer is providing you with that option. So, for example, if you look at this uh, example, which we have two different two different systems, or perform a measure for two different systems for five replications. This is for system one. System two. She look at the difference of these two performance for each one of the replications, and you compute the confidence interval for these two different systems. This is what you will obtain. And again, you see that this does not contain zero. So we can make conclusions about the about these two different systems. And but going back to what I was saying. If you have your output for a different system or software, you can put those output in this format on a text file for both systems, and you can load those files in Arena, in sorry, in the output analyzer, and the output analyzer will load those files and will convert those files to data files that it will understand. And using those files. You basically perform the same test that we did for for the first example. Okay, so that basically covered the most important things about uh, the output analyzer in 
in Arena. If you have questions about this, just send me an email or you can also go to my office hours in the exam. I'm not going to ask you to, to use the software, but I can ask you basically the important things like I can present you with a, with a case in which I'm showing you the, the graph for the output and I can ask you questions about that graph, for example. So this is, um, this is the end of the lecture and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.